We continue. Uh, we lost by two goals to nil and then what unfolded afterwards we saw a sea of Kaiser Chiefs fans running into the field and ended up hitting one of the security guards who was still not clear um, as to how she is doing at hospital but I'm joined in the studio by Africa soccer analyst Kujo Amankwa to help us unpack this uh, any further. Umalume Oma Ololo, good morning and welcome to AM uh, News. Thank you very much uh, for having me on your esteemed show. Your views on what you saw on our screens yesterday? A very unfortunate uh, scenes and a very disturbing uh, scenes from the fans. For me, it's not a football uh, celebration. Mm. And at the end of the day, it cast a very gloomy and a very bleak day mm. on the Premier Soccer League in as far as uh, I'm concerned. Mm. But now, Malume, this happens so frequently in, in, in the recent months. I mean, Kaiser Chiefs, they were fined 250,000, suspended for, 20, uh, for 24 months. And hardly a week later, this happens again. Should they have prepared better? I suppose so. Chiefs should have prepared better. The Premier Soccer League uh, should have uh, prepared better, given the fact that Kaiser Chiefs is a very big team. It's a very massive brand. I'm very lucky to have been in this country from 1995 and to the inception of the Premier Soccer League from a humble beginning in 1996 mm. up to 2018. Kaza Chiefs is a team that wins things. It's a team that wins trophies. Mm. And I'll tell you, when Chiefs fans are saying, no, it's not a good season, they've got one trophy in their cabinet. And mm. um, for the past three seasons since uh, Steve Compeller took over, Chiefs have not won a thing. Mm. And uh, I think uh, the management and everybody involved all stakeholders should have foreseen this things uh, coming unfortunately we didn't see and what uh, happened yesterday is uh, a very unfortunate episode mm. and now um, we, we experienced almost similar ugly scenes um, at Loftus first felt when Orlando Pirates was playing against Sundowns um, as a result Orlando Pirates have been uh, of course uh, punished with two games um, that they're going to play um, under closed doors um, or behind closed doors rather and now are we learning from these experiences in order to prepare better going forward? Precisely the point you need us to come to. An element of uh, conscientization and education on the part of football fans in this country. Mm. Obviously, people are people because of their environment. Yeah. And in South Africa, when things don't go people's way, they resort to use violence. Mm. And for me, that is not the right way to go. It's a bit unfortunate. And what happened yesterday is an eye opener for all stakeholders to begin to massively ca come with a campaign to educate our fans to say football is just a war for 90 minutes mm. and after then 90 minutes we go back to who we were as people as neighbors as friends as cousins as uh, couples as whoever we are mm. and, and begin to be normal there are three things in football and uh, in particular yesterday two it's a cup game you either win or lose yep. if it's a league game it's a draw lose or win and we must accept that with grace we must lose with our boots up we must mm. lose with sincerity when we lose we shouldn't resort to war and violence and what happened yesterday obviously it's not good and for me mm. i think uh, the Kaiser chiefs players in a way should begin to look for them uh, among themselves should do an introspection Mm. Did they give their all? They created a number of chances, but they couldn't convert them. Mm. And the question is why? It's one thing to blame Steve for not winning anything, but again, the players, what is their role in it? Because Steve, as a coach, after everything that he's done, cannot go onto the pitch and play the ball into the net. Mm. And I saw more than five chances that Kaiser Chiefs could have converted to win this game. Unfortunately, they didn't, and the rest is history. For them to come onto the field and break even the state of the art equipment, Mm. that was bringing these visuals into our living rooms mm. for me is very pathetic is very poor let's now focus on Steve Hompela as a coach of Kaiser Chiefs um, how would you sum up his tenure in office Steve in his first seasons went to two cup finals and didn't win mm. He hasn't won the league, and is in his uh, third season, almost a semi-finals. I think he overhyped the event because he was desperate to get something. And saying this cup, the Kiona Cup, which is the Netbank Cup, is for Kaiser Chiefs. And uh, he didn't expect what the Free State Stars were doing in Bethlehem. In fact, in my view, they were ambushed in Moses Mabida. And at the end of the day, it, it, it became too much for the fans to accept. By a stiff standard, 
Somebody will say he did well, but again, by Kaiser Chiefs standard, a team that wins, a team that wins trophy and cups, and, 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 and are known to be cup specialists, mm. it, it, it's, it's not a good uh, result for them. And hence, after the game, he resigned immediately. And I don't call it resignation. I think the fans have put extreme pressure for him to resign because they've been doing this. He's been coming and he says he's not going to resign. Mm. And even the owner of the team is on record as saying at the end of the season there were going to be changes. And obviously, Steve's contract was coming to an end in June. So it wasn't going to be renewed. Perhaps if he has won the cup, maybe they were going to give him another year to try and win something. But having lost in the manner in which they lost, mm. I think uh, he wasn't going to get a contract. And for him to resign in the manner he did, it is not good. But now the fans have been calling for his resignation for, for months now. Um, and clearly, uh, Chiefs management, th those calls were falling on deaf ears as um, Chiefs management never acted on, on their frustrations. You see, we're talking about a team that is run professionally. Mm. We're talking about a team that is uh, established by a man who played professional football at the highest level. Mm. We're talking about Kazam Town here. We're talking about Chincha Kuluva, a person mm. who understands the game in and out. Mm. When Alice Ferguson came to Manchester United, he didn't win things all of a sudden. Fans were obeying for his blood. The owner stuck with him. Years gone by, his record is now history. Mm. And I think uh, maybe Mr. Town was trying to follow that element. Little did he know that the fans are not that into believing and giving people a chance. It was the first time we are seeing an indigenous African being given an opportunity to, to coach a brand like Kaiser Chiefs and given a three-year contract. Mm. People have come as an interim stop, get and go. Steve was given a three-year contract uninterrupted, mm. even though results and uh, trophies were not forthcoming. But the, the team owner was prepared to stuck by him and ensure that he see through his uh, tenure of, uh, of, 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 of office, of contract, of contract. Yeah. And, and it was not to be, for him not to win anything. For me, it's a very sad day because it still goes to show that Steve, as a player and as a coach, has not won anything. Uh, and that was my prayer that yesterday he should have won, perhaps to go to the finals and maybe win the key owner, at least to bow out in dignity. The manner in which he has bowed out doesn't augur well, doesn't close the door for any indigenous African person to be given an uh, opportunity to coach uh, Kaiser Chiefs. Mm. I think yes, because if you look at Stuart Buster, he coached Kaiser Chiefs with players that, that were not as great as this and yet he won league and cup uh, mm. uh, uh, titles and then you have uh, Steve who came three years in a row giving players and, and, and all the support but still not winning anything mm. now you begin to answer is this psychological where the players not responding to him and the problem maybe might be deeper than we think because mm. as Africans sometimes you don't trust ourselves enough and sometimes we don't respond well if the likes of uh, Mandla Masango, George Libisi, and, and uh, 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 all those young boys Chief together Goli, all of them. Yeah. can win a title with uh, mm. uh, Stuart Buster at Kaiser Chiefs. And now you find the current Kaiser Chiefs players who cannot win anything under uh, Steve Compella. Mm. Then perhaps maybe the problem is deeper than we anticipate. Now let's wrap up this interview um, as an African soccer well, that was the conversation I was having earlier on with African soccer analyst Kujo Amangwa. Yeah. He's raising very serious issues. He there. definitely is very, very passionate also about some of those issues. And uh, it's quite sad, Madam, mm. we're seeing the incidents that have played out. Of course, you do know that female security guard is still fighting for her life in hospital. Mm. I hope PSL, stadium management and the police will actually act on these things because we can't continue yeah. to have such in our, uh, in our games. I mean, really, it's yeah. just not nice. Definitely.